Do you know where I could find the nearest? Wait, you, you can't understand. Oh, I don't have time. I don't have time. Permiso, señora. ¿Sabes si se puede usar la pileta? Me estás cargando. There are over 70 million people throughout the world that use some sort of sign language as their primary communication. Without communication, people have a hard time properly fitting into their social and professional environment. There are a few apps created to address the needs of the deaf community, but a large majority of these apps focus on translation between English and the American Sign Language. Unknown to most, there are over 130 distinct sign languages used throughout the world today, but 120 of them are virtually excluded from apps. And even for apps that address the few most popular sign languages, they only work from text to sign. There is no translator app that translates from sign language to written text. The smartphone app concept we have created is LanguaSign, a universal translator app. It includes the standard language translator used today for spoken languages with the addition of numerous sign languages of the world. The general use of the app would go like this. A deaf user needs to communicate with a non-deaf user. The non-deaf user types in what he or she needs to say and that text is translated to the deaf person's written language and pictures or videos of their sign language. Wait a second. Why would videos of the person's sign language need to be shown if they can just read the written form of their country's language? Sign and written languages are very different grammatically. Why are sign and written languages so different? Signs work more visually, while writing is more word for word. That's why it's hard for deaf people to learn written languages, and it's better to use sign language grammar. That's why we're showing video in addition to text. Here's the scenario. Anton is a German deaf person who has used German sign language his entire life. A non-deaf, English-speaking person needs to communicate with him. Anton pulls up LinguaSign. The English person types in what she needs to say, and the German text and German sign language videos are displayed for Anton. When Anton needs to communicate, LinguaSign would include three different forms of input for deaf users. If they know it, they can simply type in their spoken language. If not, they could type in the written form of their sign language's grammar to be specifically translated to the proper form of their spoken language's grammar and further to any language or sign language of their choice. The primary input for language sign would come in the form of video. The deaf users would pick their sign language from the app's list and calibrate their hands with the camera by placing them in front of the screen and would then slowly and methodically sign out their sentences. The video would be analyzed and translated into text. This app would serve as an enormous improvement in the lives of deaf people. This app not only allows them to communicate with the hearing people, but also other deaf people who use different sign languages. People who speak sign language and do not know standard written grammar can learn to more easily fit into the hearing professional world by using language sign, enabling them to communicate the way they want with the rest of the hearing sound-filled world.